Okay, so today we're going to do a typical normal distribution problem. This is a word problem which many students find very difficult to do. And so what I'm going to try to do is break it down so that it's easy to understand. Let's start with reading the problem. A 2003 study found that medical residents mean number of hours worked in a week is 81.7. Suppose the number of hours worked per week by medical residents is approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation of 6.9 hours. What is the probability that a randomly selected medical resident works more than 100 hours in a week? We're going to start by uh, first writing down what it is that we already know and what it is that we're trying to figure out. So the problem states that we have a mean that's equal to 81.7. We'll write that down. We also know that our standard deviation is equal to 6.9. And we're trying to find the probability that a radical medical resident works more than 100 hours per week. So this is what we're trying to find. Now, we also are told that this is following a normal distribution, which is very important. Because we know it's a normal distribution, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the normal curve so that we have some pretty picture to look at while we're doing the problem. Not only that it's a pretty picture to look at, but what's good about statistics is that it's a visual, um, it's a visual map more than perhaps any other math that you have taken. And so drawing the picture helps you to see what is going on and help you to see, help you to work through the problem. So we're gonna label the middle of the curve. We have 81.7 here and we're trying to find 100. Now because it says more than, we're gonna shade the area to the right of 100 and this is what we're trying to find. Now this is for the normal uh, just a random variable. Now what we're going to do underneath it is going to add an extra line and this extra line is supposed to represent the standard normal random variable so we're going to use the Z that represents that and because it's a standard normal we have a zero in the middle of the curve. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and standardize this 100 by using the formula Z equals X minus mu over sigma. Now we're going to plug in the form, the variables, that, uh, the numbers that we have. For x, we have 100, because that's what we're trying to standardize. The mean we already have written down is 81.7, and the standard deviation of 6.9. Now, when we solve for that, we get z equals to 2.65. So, what does this mean? Now, instead of finding the probability of x greater than 100, we can use the standard normal table to find the probability that z is greater than 2.65. Alright, now probability that z is greater than 2.65, we're going to use a standard normal table. Let me go over to that right now. So I've already uploaded a copy of the standard normal table and here it is. Now to use the standard normal table, first of all, this particular table only gives us the area to the left the area to the right. Now to find the area to the right we're going to take 1 minus the area to the left and we'll explain why this is at another time uh, in more detail at another time. So 1 minus probability z greater than 2 point less than 2.65. Now to find the 2.65 on this table we're going to scroll down. This number 2.65 has to be broken down into two parts. This is 2.6 plus 0 0.05. The 2.6, the number before and after the decimal, is located in the first column. So we're going to go down to the 2.6 column, and I'm going to underline it right here. Oops, sorry. And then we have the 0 0.05 row, which is right here. So what number uh, overlaps for this row and this column? And we have 0 0.9960. So what this is telling me is that the probability that z is less than 2.65 is equal to 0 0.9960. So the probability that z is greater than 2.65, remember we're taking 1 minus, is equal to 0 0.0040 because we took 1 minus this number that we found on our table. Let's go back to see what that means here on our original problem. The probability then that uh, the medical resident works more than 100 hours is 0 
four, zero. This is our final answer. Thanks for watching.